How sad is this? Over 1 billion animals have already been killed, caught in those Australia wildfires. A local father and daughter, they're trying to lend a hand, working together to help wildlife that is suffering halfway across the world. The World Wildlife Fund estimates as many as 1.25 billion animals have been killed. Many more threatened because their habitats are being burned away. These new pictures from NASA show the brush bushfires scorched nearly a third of Kangaroo Island. That area is home to sea lions, koalas, birds, and many other forms of wildlife. Nightside's Angelina Salcedo shows you how to help the koalas and other wildlife that has been affected in Australia. And what you have to do is follow this family's lead. It's, uh, it's pretty shocking. Ainsley Wilson and her husband are out spreading the word, working to make sure people in St. Pete know what's happening miles away. It's heartbreaking and it really makes me want to go out. You know, I wish I could go out and um, be out in the forest and rescue some koalas myself. Ainsley grew up in rural Australia. Her father is still there and he's had wildfires burn close to his home. They had a fire actually come within a thousand meters of their property. Um, they have a rural property um, with, you know, platypus and, you know, kangaroos on that property. Um, and it, you know, it's scary. It's the animals. Um, they also need some care and that's the level that we're working at. Peter says wildlife shelters and rescues desperately need help. Looking for bandages, veterinary supplies, vets themselves, because a lot of these animals need veterinary you know, professional assistance. Many are rescuing koalas. Ecologists estimate the fires have killed nearly 8,000 of them. That's a third of their population. I think with this fire and, and really not knowing the true impacts until the fires are calmed down, um, it could change the status of that species. Conservationists say the koala population could shrink to the point they would need government protection to survive once the wildfires are out. The flames are destroying their habitat and eucalyptus, their only source of food. Because they're a slow, slower moving animal, they eat eucalyptus, they sleep 19 hours a day. They're not as equipped to get out of the way of the fire as some of the other species like your kangaroo and wallaby. It's just so hard to wrap your mind around the sheer devastation that we're seeing there when you hear more than a billion animals. And just how wide those fires are burning, too. I think we saw just a few days ago more than half the state of Florida, just yeah. for perspective of how much has been burned. Now, if you'd like to get involved, you can head to our 10 News WTSP Facebook page. Click on this graphic that we have right here. It's actually pinned to the top of our page. There is a link with plenty of ways that you can help that wildlife in Australia.